All right, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to continue our talk on basic text functions in Excel uh, by following up what we did with the upper, lower, and proper functions with the left, right, mid, and concatenate functions. So these functions are also pretty basic. They're pretty easy because most of them, not all of them, uh, are single argument functions, meaning you type the function name, you give it a singular uh, cell to reference, and it just works. So I thought I'd start off with the left, right, and mid text functions. So up top here, we've got some fictitional social security numbers, right? And we can even go in and format these so they look like social security numbers if we want, just so you can get a ballpark of what that's gonna look like. Again, totally fake, none of these are real numbers, so don't get any crazy ideas. You may notice when you call in, say, to your cell phone company, when they verify your account, they often ask you for the last four digits of your social, right? So say we wanted to mask these numbers to only display the last four digits of the social security numbers that are up here. Well, an easy way to do that would be with the left or right function. So let me show you what the right function does. The syntax for the right function is actually pretty easy. Uh, what we do is we just type right. We're going to jump in and grab the original text that we're working with, and we're going to give it the number of characters that you want to display, right, which is four. So what the right function does is it takes your text cursor, puts it at the end of the cell, and it counts backwards based on the number of uh, characters that you want to display. Okay. So if I do right four, it's going to show me four, five, six, three, the last four digits of this number. So the brother of the right function is obviously the left function. So now what does the left function do? The left function does the exact same thing as the right function. But what it does is it puts the cursor on the left side of the cell and counts forward instead of the right side of the cell and points backwards. So if I were to take the second uh, social security number up here, Okay, just reference that, and I go forward three, that's going to give me the first three characters of that social security number, which would be 611. That easy. Okay, so you've got left and you've got right. The last function that I usually present with the left and right functions would be the mid function. And the mid function is similar to the left function, but what it does is it gives you the ability to push your characters forward. So instead of starting on the left or the right of the cell, it can start wherever you want and then count forward. Now to make that more relevant, instead of doing it for social security number, let's do it with a word so you can see it happen. So for example, up here with Charlie. So if I were to use the mid function, first thing it's gonna do is gonna ask me for the starting word. So we'll take Charlie as the starting word. Then it's going to say, well, where in the world, uh, in the word, Charlie, would you like to start this text string? So, for example, if I say uh, two, it's going to be the second character uh, is where that count is going to start. Uh, so it's going to move the cursor forward two spaces. And then I give it the number of characters. Well, how many spaces do I want to go from where I start? So the number two says start at the second character. And then whatever you count after that, for example, we'll go with uh, three, is how many characters you want to advance. And when I do that, I get H-A-R. So see, Charlie was the second character, and then I counted forward one, two, three, and that gave me H-A-R. So to kind of conclude those three, the left function gives you the ability to isolate characters starting on the left side of the cell, moving forward. The right function gives you the ability to isolate characters in a cell starting on the right-hand side, moving backwards. And the mid function gives you the ability to start wherever you'd like and move forward. Now we've got some time left on this video, so I wanna to talk to you about concatenating in Excel. And concatenation in Excel is actually really, really handy, but a lot of people uh, don't necessarily know how to do it because there are two ways to do it. Uh, one is using this cool ampersand sign here, and the other is with the function called concatenate, which is actually being replaced with another function called text join, which I'll do an individual video on that moving forward. So I want to take a second to conclude this video and talk to you guys about what concatenate does. Okay. 
So take a look what we've got over here. We've got the name Troy, we've got the name Smith. Say we wanted to put that name Troy Smith in a cell. Well, I obviously couldn't do this. Troy plus Smith. If I did that, that wouldn't work. Now, of course, if there were numerical values in the cell, that would. But you know that you can't add words. But what you can do is you can combine words, right? You can concatenate words. So concatenate is another word for combine. So if I take B30 and use the ampersand sign with A30, it's going to take those two words and put them together, Troy Smith. So it's the equivalent of adding them, okay? Now, this isn't perfect. Notice that when I do that, there's no space in between them, which isn't ideal if we were to type these things out. But you know what? We can use uh, some techniques with this ampersand sign and get that to work pretty nicely, right? So I could take a uh, double prime quotation mark, add a space, another double prime quotation mark, and add an additional ampersand sign, and voila, now I've got Troy Smith. Okay, now let's talk about how I was able to do that. In Excel, double prime quotation marks is usually an indicator of what you see is what you get. So whatever you put inside those double quotation marks is what Excel will display. So I put a space inside those double quotation marks, and then I combine those using these double ampersand signs. So one here and one there. Okay, so that is one way to concatenate. And again, concatenate means combine. You can use it to take two strings of whatever you want. Could be numbers, could be words, and combine them together. Now, Excel offers another feature that can do that exact same thing, which is the concatenate function. With the concatenate function, I can still take Troy, and I can take Smith, and when I put those together, I get Troy Smith. It's the exact same thing, right? So you could substitute using the ampersand sign uh, while using this actual function called concatenate, which, again, is being replaced with text join, which we will do in additional video. So that kind of concludes our brief little tutorial on uh, the second round of text functions. We have covered uh, left, right, mid, and concatenate. If you have any questions, you guys know how to find me. Shoot me an email, shoot me a note, or just drop a, a comment or message me on YouTube, uh, and we'll talk soon. All right, have a good day.